Hey guys, uh, I'm Dirty Mafia, and today we're finally, finally doing a survival kit review. So, I'm really into survival slash camping, uh, so this is good. Uh, first of all, we're going to start by my bag. I hope you can see it well. There's, I think, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten pockets, okay? It's really good. So, first of all, I want to talk about the material. The material of my bag is really solid. It's a really heavy duty bag. Like, just look at the clips on there. They're really big and like, it's a big solid bag, you know? It's a uh, waterproof kind of. Cause, uh, yeah, so the stuff in it doesn't get easy, uh, wet easy, okay? So, first of all, I'm gonna open it. The first little pocket we have is here, okay? So, in my first pocket, guys, I have a first aid kit. I just, in there, I have, uh, the, uh, I have band-aids and gloves and, uh, alcohol, uh, little things with alcohol in it. It's a pretty good, uh, little kit I made. Then I have some band bandage, like a stretchy one. I have some time rolls, so if I break my leg or whatever, I have uh, a little thing of Tylenol. I have uh, also some tape to go with my band-aid. So yeah, those are the four uh, main uh, four uh, main uh, things I have in my pocket here. I'm gonna put them back real quick. Or actually, no, I'm gonna leave them out because at the end you're gonna see how big my survival kit is. So, the next pocket in here, this one's a little bit bigger. I uh, hope you can still see. I'll show you from closer. So, this one's a little bit bigger. Uh, here I have an old book. Uh, it's a fishing and hunting book. It shows you uh, ways to cook fish, actually. And uh, it shows you what to do when you see a bear. I don't know what page that's on. So, like, don't freak out and stuff like that. Animals from Canada. Because I live in Canada. Uh, yeah, there's a... Look, that's here. Like, how to react when you see a bear. So, that's pretty good. I'll just put the book aside. I got this for free, guys. So, yeah, I'm keeping it. Uh, I got the, some aluminum like aluminum uh copper wire i guess uh i don't have enough i don't have a like a lot but it's enough to make two uh two or three traps for animals uh, i'm gonna put this right with my book and that's this for this pocket i really don't keep much in there because i have more so yeah i'm gonna go on ahead and open the second pocket which is actually right here this one here I'm going to open my pocket, guys. I uh, hope you can see well. So here, I'm opening it. Okay, this one's a little bit more filled, guys. So, sorry for that. First of all, I have my fire kit. So I hope you can all see. I have my fire kit in here. I keep a lighter. So a nice camping lighter. Which uh, works actually pretty good. Yeah. Uh, then I have, obviously, uh, fire, fire starter, fire rock, no. I don't know how you call it, guys, but this is, uh, to make a, like, obviously, whatever you call those. Sorry for my English, guys. Uh, it's a fire starter, or, uh, I'm gonna have to check that out later, but I'm not too sure what would, like, how, how you say that. So yeah, this is it's a nice little thing, and the little knife came with it actually. So there it is. Yeah, this wouldn't be a knife I would use just to cut stuff because it doesn't go well. So I'm gonna put this here. Next in my little fire kit, I have matches. Uh, they're not strike anywhere matches, which I would like to get honestly, but I couldn't find any where I live, so I'll have to see maybe on the internet. But uh, matches, I can start with my lighter, actually. Next, uh, I have some uh, uh, some uh, 
Oh, the... On this here, I don't know if you know what this is. It's from uh, your dryer, actually. So, guys, if you want this, this starts so easy. Uh, you have a dryer. There's a little uh, filter you take out. This is from... This is this, okay? I collect it once in a while. And it's really good to start fires. So, that would be my fire kit. And I keep a little lamp in there, too. Uh... It works pretty good, as you can see. Uh, and yeah, that's great. So, this is my fire kit, guys. And next, next I have a, a compass right here. It's a nice little compass. There's nothing more to it. Uh, I have a little fishing kit. So, I hope you can see in my fishing kit. I won't open it, you know. Uh, some normal fishing gear, I guess. Next, it's a knife I really like. I carry all the time around with me. Comes with a little pocket. My dad gave it to me, guys. So, yeah. This is a uh, metal knife. It's a really, really nice blade. It's called a Nutrit. Nutrit. I'll show you the brand. Nutrit. So yeah, it's uh, nice. It's really, really nice. I love it. It's really sharp. And uh, it's good, I guess. I'm going to put this here. Where did my thing go? Okay, it doesn't matter. So next, I have a, a pot to boil water. So yeah, it's not the best. It's what I have. It's not big. And it fits. So yeah, that's good. Uh, in here, I have a little saw blade. So here it comes with a little case as well. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, I'll open it to show you. I bought this as an, at my local uh, camping camping uh, store. It works pretty well. There's a nice grip and uh, it goes well, I think. So yeah, I bought this. I think it was 40 bucks. It's expensive, but it cuts really good. So yeah, I'm happy with this. Then next I have the little cap here for this. I can actually boil the water. And uh, here, I won't open it. Well, actually I will. But this is a... Uh... Oh my god, how do I... Okay. This is a little shovel I bought. It comes in a little kit. So you have the handle where you can put matches in there. I don't have them because I don't need them. Uh, and uh, there's a little shovel, so look... And there's a pickaxe. There's a pickaxe too. I used it. Uh, yeah, so the little shovel. You tighten this thing here. Obviously, it's not the best quality, but it works for what I have to do. Like uh, for my for my tent or my my uh, whatever I want to build. This works pretty good. So yeah, so shovel. And yeah, there's a can opener and. Yeah. So that's it for this pocket. The last pocket, guys. Oh, there's so much stuff in there. So we're going to see what is in there. Oh, there's a thing for my knife. So I'm so excited. The last pocket, guys. We've been waiting for this moment for about eight minutes. So. Are you ready? So, I hope you can see good guys. This is my last pocket. So, first off, we got 250 meters of 2 inch cordage. It can support 300 pounds. That's good. Uh, I weigh 150, so that's perfect for me. Uh, for my uh, shelter, I'm going to put this over here. So I have my cordage. Then next, my baby. I have my knife. Actually, if you see, I have a video of my knife. And, uh, yeah, I have a video I can show. Uh, I, I have done a review. That was my first video. It's a 30-inch blade. And uh, cuts like a mother trucker. It's really nice. So that's my big, big blade. I use it most of the time. Next. This was such a good a good call, a good buy. I don't know how to, you, you say it. I hope you can read it. It's a 
the total outdoors manual so how this I got this on Amazon guys it's 30 bucks there's camping fishing hunting and survival and it's a really great book there's so much tips and stuff and uh, oh it's really good how to sharpen them oh I just love the book honestly uh, survival is my favorite part here they take poison oak and all. it's it's heavy I have to say it's a heavy part of my my survival kit but I think it's worth it I'm gonna put this over here uh, next I have another pocket here so yeah there's a lot of pocket guys here I have this here it's a uh, it's not actually what you think uh, it used to be uh, for your throat it's not those as you can see are little uh, components of uh, water filters uh, you put that it's good for one one little thing is good for one liter of water you put that in your bottle of water, shake it, it's perfect, it neutralizes all the bacteria, first of all you have to boil it and filter it, but it's pretty good. Put this over here. Next I have uh, two uh, waterproof like uh, coats I guess, That's I just carry that around for fun, uh, I probably won't use them because it's probably not going to rain, but yeah, that's good. Uh, I'm actually going to leave that out, like I said. Oh, yeah. And last but not least, guys, my little box. I'm going to put my bag apart aside. My little box, guys. So that's it. I'm going to open it, show you what's inside. I'm going to go ahead and start with this here. <whistles> Hope you heard that. You did. Okay. So this here, there's a whistle. It's waterproof, so it opens. It's waterproof inside. I have matches. Uh, there's a flint that doesn't work. Uh, there's a mirror, so I can do like uh, if I see a plane or something. And one that I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend using. Uh, honestly, I don't think I'd use it. It's a compass. So this is pretty nice. I got it. It was ten bucks. It wasn't nothing. Uh, Fancy, fancy. Then I got about this much aluminum foil. I got some coffee filters. I got four of them, so that's how I'm going to filter my water. Uh, then I have another knife, guys. My third one in my survival kit. This one is an Olympia. There's no case with it, but it's a pretty nice blade. Uh, yeah, I like it. It's really nice. So this is one of my blades. I have tie wraps. I have a flashlight that I need to change my batteries, I think, but works pretty good. It's a nice little flashlight I got. I have uh, duct tape. Some copper, copper thing, I don't know how you call it, copper wire. And some extra batteries. For my flashlight. Yeah. So guys, this is my survival kit. There's nothing more to it. I'll show you more. But this is it. Big. And yeah. There's nothing else to it. It's my survival kit. So thank you for watching. Uh, like, please, subscribe if you can. And yeah, we'll see you guys later.